Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Star Wars headquarters. So DICE just released all of the patch notes and details for the big November 28th Geonosis update. That will include, of course, the planet Geonosis and Obi-Wan Kenobi. And uh, we're going to go over all of the details. Now, I picked out only the important parts that we have not gone over yet. So I'm not redundant here. So I'm going to go over only the stuff you guys do not know about yet, which include the exact improvements we can expect to be made to General Grievous in the November 28th update. Uh, we also find out how much General Grievous's new Shattered Armor appearance will cost. Uh, we also find out about the Officer nerf that's coming up, changes to Chewbacca, and so much more. So we're going to dive into it, guys. And remember that we will be releasing brand new gameplay of Geonosis today at 10 a.m., PT time, this is brand new gameplay of Geonosis and Obi-Wan Kenobi that we captured over at DICE in Stockholm, Sweden. So don't forget to subscribe and check it out right here at the Star Wars HQ. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. You don't want to miss this. It's happening at 10 a.m. PT time today, guys. And we are excited. We cannot wait to show you what we got to experience over at DICE when we played Geonosis and with Obi-Wan Kenobi. But let's jump into all the details on the upcoming update for November 28th, starting off with General Grievous's improvement. So this is what the patch notes had to say about General Grievous. So it said they improved the reliability of unrelenting advance blocking incoming blaster shots from the front side. Then goes on to say, Unrelenting Advance uh, will not be blocking explosive shots or special hero abilities. So keep that in mind. So they've improved that. That's something that we've been wanting to see. They've also improved Grievous's rotation speed when using Unrelenting Advance, which is a really good thing because it was kind of awkward when you're trying to rotate when unre Unrelenting Advance was active. And then they also increased Unrelenting Advance damage from 75 to 110 points, and then reduced how often Grievous's unrelenting advance deals damage from 1.5 seconds to 0.75 seconds. So they've made some big improvements to these abilities here. And then it goes on to say this right here. It says they improved the chance of thrust surge connecting with the enemy. And it says enemies who manage to get out of the way in a timely manner can still avoid Grievous's thrust surge. So keep in mind, even though they did improve this, enemies will still be able to avoid it if they manage to get out, get out of the way in time. Then they fixed an issue where Grievous would get locked into a spinning and running animation after performing thrust surge on a dead enemy. I had this happen to me a couple times. It was a pretty funny animation, but it's good to see that they fixed this. And then they also improved the UI for Grievous's Thrust Surge Indicator, it says the UI indicator comes up faster and more reliably when the ability is ready to be, to be performed on an enemy. And then they fix an issue where Grievous's lightsabers would change halfway through the Thrust Surge animation. And then finally, to wrap up Grievous's changes, they fix an issue where Grievous's stun animation would last longer compared to other stunned heroes. And this is something I noticed a lot, especially when going up against Chewbacca and Lando. So I'm glad to see that they addressed the stun issue with General Grievous for sure, because I absolutely hate being stunned. But uh, let's talk about this here. Uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, the Shattered Armor appearance for General Grievous will be classified as legendary and cost 80,000 credits or 2,000 crystals. So if you didn't know that, that's how much General Grievous's new Shattered Armor appearance will cost. What do you think about this, guys? Do you think this is a little bit too steep? Again, it is a legendary appearance, so they're really trying to make it that way. And uh, my guess is they're trying to make it extremely rare on the battlefront. Now, I definitely have enough credits for it. I don't know about you guys, but post in the comments down below how many credits you guys have and if you are going to be uh, purchasing the legendary, uh, you know, General Grievous skin with your credits. Now, there's also some changes to 
our furry friend Chewbacca. So uh, it says this, it says, they made adjustments to Chewbacca's stun grenade, as well as the fire rate and bullet heat per shot of the Furious Bowcaster to prevent possible instant kills when Chewbacca has full health. So the exact details are this. It says they reduced fire rate of Furious Bowcaster from 110 to 90. They reduced stun time of the stun grenade from 1 second to 0.75 seconds. They increased overheat per bullet from 0.057 to 0.075. That's pretty specific there. Then they reduced number of shots possible with Furious Bowcaster from 14 to 10. And then they reduced the cooldown for the Furious Bowcaster ability from 25 to 20 to improve Chewbacca's reliability in Galactic Assault. Now, my favorite change out of all of this, I think, is the reduced stun time of the stun grenade. If you guys have heard me during my live streams, I've been really complaining about the stun grenades for both Chewbacca and Lando, and I'm glad to see that they have at least addressed Chewbacca's stun grenade in some way there, because, again, I absolutely hate the stun effects in this game, so I'm glad to see that they're reducing these and uh, making that uh, change. So hopefully they continue to do this if it's necessary. We'll see if it's a big enough change for the stun abilities. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think this is a necessary change? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. Now, moving on, they also reduced Chewbacca's explosive damage and increased the blaster damage to balance Chewbacca's attacks against lightsaber-wielding enemies. And this is the exact details on that. They reduced explosive damage of main bullet from 40 to 25, increased blaster damage from main bullet from 30 to 40, increased end damage of main bullet from 30 to 35, reduced explosive damage of scatter bullet from Furious Bowcaster from 15 to 10, and then finally increased blaster damage of scatter bullet from Furious Bowcaster from 20 to 25. Now we're going to move on to one of the hot subject of Battlefront 2, the Officer. Yes, the Officer is getting a nerf on November 28th with the Geonosis update. And here are the exact details. So it says, the flash grenade says, removed movement impairing effects that would occur when affected by the flash. Uh, it says, inspiring presence, they lowered score gained from 15 to 10 points per tick. With the Blurg, they reduced start damage and end damage. And then with the SC-44C, they reduced start damage and end damage as well. And then finally, with the S5, they reduced distance before damage fall off start. So of course, these are, these are some big uh, changes here. And of course, they're mainly nerfs in this case. And I think it's really cool to see that they removed the movement impairing effects from the flash grenade. That flash grenade can be completely blinding and debilitating, so it's good to see that they address that as well, because I've seen many people in the community complaining about the flash grenades. Now, this one was surprising. They also buffed the AAT, so they increased high explosive shells blast damage from 100 to 150 points, they added a reticle for the high explosive shells ability. I don't know what that looks like exactly, but it's going to be interesting to see. And then they fixed an issue that prevented the siege mode ability on the AAT from increasing damage correctly. And then for all of those who play arcade, they did make a small change here. They improved gameplay flow on arcade by removing the spawn timer on arcade. Now, I like to jump into arcade every now and then, especially if I'm having problems with the internet. So I'm glad to see that they did that. And hopefully in the future, they do more arcade updates for you know, people who enjoy jumping into arcade, maybe with the heroes or something like that. And I'm hoping to see with that large scale game mode, maybe they can put that into arcade. They really haven't spoken about that or talked about that, I mean, uh, recently. But it would be really cool to see the new large scale game mode introduced into arcade as well. But guys, there it is. There's all of the updates in the patch. Remember, there's a lot more stuff that they went over uh, in the patch notes. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. As you know, 
on November 28th, not only are we getting these changes, but we're also getting the Planet Geonosis. We're getting uh, Obi-Wan with Obi-Wan's two appearances. We're getting General Grievous's new appearance. We're getting the 212th Attack Battalion and, uh, you know, all that stuff. So it's very exciting. And again, don't forget, guys, uh, we are going to be releasing brand new gameplay today at 10 a.m. PT time. So you don't want to miss it. Don't forget to subscribe to us right here at the Star Wars HQ. Click on that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. You don't want to miss it. It is going to be awesome. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time. And may the Force be with you always.